you have time. You have the knowledge and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. Your heart, your life, your happiness is your responsibility and your responsibility alone. One day you're gonna realize your life is yours and there's a lot of people important to you that surround it, but ultimately it's yours. Then you must decide where you want to invest this life. Invest in something worthwhile. You have to picture yourself there. Wherever it is, you've got to picture yourself there. All right, the next step is you've got to believe it. Number one in your life's blueprint should be a deep belief in your own dignity, your own worth, and your own somebodyness. Don't allow anybody to make you feel that you are nobody. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. They were going to make a change and then they made it. This is your moment. It's not tomorrow. It's not next year. It's not when you're gonna graduate. It's right here, right now. And every choice you make, you're impacting that thing. We're gonna be lying. You know when a lion is injured, when a lion is bleeding, he licks his wounds and he keeps walking. Your time is one of the most powerful tools you will ever have. Lay hold up. You lay hold up. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will be like a shark. You will think like a shark. And you can't go backwards. And if you stop swimming, you will die. If life knocks you down, try and land on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. This is the year of the world. Act like you hear me. This is the year of the world. This is the year of the world. Act like it. The moment and the time for you to change your life is now. Always feel that you count. Always feel that you have worth and always feel that your life has ultimate significance. You choose what you're looking for because what you look for, you find. That's how life works. Make good choices, great things happen. But you've got to believe in you. So I believe. Why is it that we don't believe in ourselves? That as soon as things get tough in our lives, we start doubting ourselves. We start thinking that we're not gonna make it, stressing, worrying, imagining things that may go wrong in the future. We need to understand, the human mind is the most powerful tool we own, but it can also be the most destructive. And we need to learn how to take control of the direction of our mind and our emotions. Your mind is going to provide you with the greatest challenges in your life because it is so powerful. So if you can conquer your mind and you can pretty much conquer anything else around you, literally. When writing the story of your life, Make sure you hold the pen. Make sure not only that you hold the pen, but you write the script from your heart. Be brave when writing your script. It's your story and there are no limits to what you can have, what you can do, or what you can be. How bad do you want it? You've got to prove it to yourself that you want it bad enough. It's got to hurt you not to get it. And that's when you're going to learn to conquer your mind. Your mind will no longer be able to say no because your inner heart and mind are aligned and now nothing can stop you. It's easy to be all positive and consistent when everything is going your way. But that's not life. That's not realistic. 
are you going to be one of the very few to stand up when things are tough? When everything is going against you, will you be able to believe in what's right and what brings results to your life? That's when your character will shine. That's when your story will be born. Your story is valuable. Your story of success. You can't build a story if you stop now. If you give up, the world is full of people who gave up. The world needs hope. We all do. The world needs you to stand up, to fight through your challenging moments, to shine through the dark times, to love through the hate, and to be the difference in an indifferent world. To believe in yourself. Most people are bloated with ordinary thoughts and mindsets. They're full of average that they have no more appetite. But you have to have an appetite for extraordinary. Beyond what people are doing, think beyond them. There will always be doubters and people below you and people trying to put you down so that they can feel higher. But you've got to stay true to yourself. Believe in your mind. Have some tunnel vision. Then one day you will have your moment. Because anything is possible if you just believe. Feed your dreams. If you can suffer through setbacks, through pain, rise up with resilience once again and again and again. One day, this world will tap you on the shoulder and say this is your time to shine. You can have, be, and do anything you want. Just have to believe. Things that we can't control, we can't plan for, but they come anyway. This can be in relationships, the workplace, the family. It tears us down when things start to go to chaos. And all you want to do is win. See, I witnessed so many times in my life, and it may be someone out there that understands life. Understands that pain is necessary. Understand that unexpected obstacles stop them. You gotta dig down deep today. Even when you're crying, even when that girlfriend or boyfriend is walking out of your life, I need you to be prepared. Because sometimes when terrible things happen to us, we go into this dark shell and we stay there and we believe that this darkness will be our home forever. But you gotta understand that every pain is a lesson. Every lesson that you learn in the process of life is turning you into something. It's turning you into something phenomenal. See, dreams, aspirations, they're not easily obtained. You're gonna have to walk through those storms with no umbrella. But know and trust in God that you will not get wet. Yes, life is painful. In it, we lose some of the greatest things we ever had. But one of the hardest things to do is to keep going. Is to keep chasing. See, sometimes when people leave, we believe that that's our entire life. We believe that that is our existence. But we are more. Because like my grandfather used to tell me, one of your dreams, they never lived down there. What now is dedication? Relentless effort to achieve your dreams. Putting a plan together, not just jumping into the water with no life vest. Putting a strategic plan together to be greater than you were yesterday. To be greater than anything anybody could ever imagine. See, this thing about dreams, we believe that it's up to other people to believe in. And the truth is, the only person that needs to believe in you is you.
From a deep sleep, you awaken to your daily battleground. Another round with life, and by the end of the day, you're broken, battered, and beaten down. You're slowly losing your mind, and you keep checking the lost and found, hoping for a profound moment that gives you the strength to mentally and physically rebound. You were once bound and determined to block out all of the noise and all of the background sounds. But life <laughs> sniffed out the fear in your soul like a bloodhound and turned your smiles into frowns and changed your happiness into tears of a clown. And as you stand in a trance spellbound, that's when I come up and tap you on the shoulder. And when you turn around, I say it's time for you to turn your life around. I say it's time for you to get back up cause life just knocked you down. I say it's time for you to swim cause you about to drown. I say it's time for you to human up my friend and stay on your ground. No retreat, no surrender. No retreat, no surrender. I need you to remember you have a God-given right to be a member of the next level society. And that means you must fight through the anxiety. That means you must never concede and go down quietly. That means you have to ignite your inner flames and show life that you are explosive and fire. I know you come from what you perceive as nothing. I know you come from a home where there was never much hugging and you never felt much loving. I know your childhood is filled with memories of dream crushing. They told you you would never amount to much of nothing. And up to this point, you've been proving them right. Up to this point, you've shown very little fight. Up to this point, you keep walking in darkness and avoiding the light. Up to this point, you've been blind. But today, but today, my friend, I'm your optometrist because I'm about to give you sight. No retreat, no surrender. No retreat, no surrender. You're at war with life, and life does not fight fair. Life can care less about your daily stress and all your crazy mess, your failure to progress, your lack of success, the fact that you're not living your best. I need you to dig deep into the depths of your heart and remind yourself that your heart has not stopped yet and that means you haven't dropped yet and therefore you refuse to throw in the towel. Life is simply trying to beat you down and put you to the test. No retreat, no surrender, no retreat. No surrender! I know you come from what you perceive as nothing. I know you come from a home where you never got much hugging. I know your childhood is filled with memories of dream crushing. They told you you would never amount to much of nothing. All of the fear and hatred in your heart, it's time for you to disown it that inner child of your past, you have totally outgrown it. Don't you get it? The best of you is already inside. You've just never shown it. But what life failed to realize is that because of everything you've been through in your past, all of the setbacks, heartbreaks, failures, losses, you are prepared for any and everything life could possibly throw at you. So after a series of vicious body blows from life, you come back with a flurry of jabs and a wicked uppercut, and you look life dead in the eye, and you scream, no retreat, no surrender, no retreat, no surrender because you remember that the champion that resides inside is now primed and ready to be unleashed to the world and all of the pressure has formed a diamond and the timing is impeccable for this incredible transformation from the basement to greatness so please pardon the lateness but i heard a wise man say better late than never so no matter what the weather the storms of the past have made you wiser and more clever you just have to know your worth and never let no human walk in the face of this earth tell you different. You are royalty. Against all odds, you can, you 
will and you must overcome. Never fear and persevere. This is a great day. Probably one of the biggest, most important things that we can do as human beings is to deal with failure. See, most of us as kids are brought up with this universal belief that failure is bad, right? That losing is bad and that failure or losing means embarrassment. It means humiliation. It means we're not good enough. It means that we should not ever even try something unless we are absolutely 100% sure that we can win. So what happens is we go through life and this happens over and over again. We don't go for that job in case we don't get it. We don't make that phone call to say sorry in case our apology isn't accepted. We don't, we don't, we don't. It wasn't until I started to love failure and look for it, I started being successful in the shit I was doing. You know, failure is a massive part of being successful. You have to be comfortable failing. You have to learn to love it. And to do that, the first step, you have to forget all of those associations that we've got about failure. You know, you've got to replace them with positive ones. You know, when people look at successful people or people that have what they want, they have this delusion that they have got where they are by miraculously succeeding at everything that they've done without failing. And the odds of them doing that without failing are like zero. See, they've failed to realize that that person that they look up to, that person that they want to be, that person that's on top, has failed more times than they can possibly imagine. Don't fear failure. Like, learn to love it. Learn to live with it every day and realize that it doesn't exist as the world knows it. So you can have anything you want, be anyone you want, but you're gonna have to work. Hard work is the universe's great equalizer. Hard work is the thing that has leveled the playing field and given the average Joe, the underdog, a shot at a crown. All right, if you work hard and you never give up, you can literally achieve anything. Stop looking for the easy way. Stop looking for the shortcut, because let me tell you, there ain't one. No matter who you are, you have where you are right now and where you want to be. And there's only one road or one path that takes you there, and that's hard work, baby. You have everything you need to have everything you want, but you must get to work. Let's think of some things that might happen if you try to do the thing that you've been wanting to do for years. Okay, well, it might not work the first time. It might not be as easy as you thought. People might laugh at you and talk about you behind your back. You might get hurt. But if you keep taking action, in spite of all this stuff that might happen, guess what? Sooner or later, you're gonna start winning. Remember, there ain't no such thing as failure, baby, only feedback. Now, let's talk about what will happen if you don't act. Well, you will keep getting the same results you get now. You will keep getting treated the same. You will keep making the same money. You will keep doing the things you don't wanna be doing, and worst of all, you will get to the end of your life and regret that you didn't try. You see, there's no other way. I mean, the decision really is a no-brainer. So to make yourself take action, you've got to make a decision. And that decision has to be final. People take action and get it done when they have had enough. They decide and they say, that's it. I'm done, no more. No more will I be treated like this. No more will I be overweight. No more will I be in a job that I hate. At the moment, your brain thinks like this. Trying this new thing will be hard, it will be risky, etc, etc. 
basically associating taking action with pain. So, what you need to do is to train your mind and focus on the pain you'll get if you don't act. And to reinforce that, focus on all the pleasure that you will get if you act. The most important thing though, is to know that you're not alone. I've been there, your friends have been there, the celebrities and famous people that you follow on social media that you look up to, they've all been there. No matter how perfect someone else's life seems from the outside, just remember that they all deal with pain and darkness too. So it's okay not to be okay. Pain is there to make you better. Without struggle, there can be no victory. And let me tell you, when you've been through pain, when you fought for where you are, you ain't gonna let anyone take away what you got. When you've earned it and paid your dues and suffered and failed and been hurt and been down and you get back up over and over, when pain and struggle comes to face you again, you look it in the face and stand it down because you've been through too much. You're too strong now. Everything that has happened to you up until this point has made you who you are and it will continue to mold you into who you will be. All pain, all the sacrifice, all the heartache, all the criticism is always going to be there. But you've got to go through it. Your life won't turn out how you plan it. It turns out how you work for it. How you wake up and you chase that dream every single morning. It's what you give your time and your energy to that takes you to the next level. Wake up every single day thinking about how can I change my life? How can I stand on a stage with the Giants? It's like a man going 100,000 miles per hour and you haven't even started the engine. But first you must ask yourself, are you willing to fail a few times? Are you willing to lay down and bleed so you can see the dream that you dreamed about? Are you gonna beat the obstacle? That freshman is getting ready to go to college. Are you going to take the obstacles that come with it? Are you going to study when they party? Are you going to dream when they sleep? This is the question you must ask yourself. Greatness will only come to you if you want to win. Greatness will only arise when you step in the fire and you're not afraid to get burnt. You have to grind when they sleep. You gotta grind when they won't. You gotta grind when you do not feel like it. And this in all areas in life. School, sports, your religion. Consistency is the tunnel to greatness. Consistency will turn an ordinary man into something he never thought he could be. See, the difference between a good player and a great player. See, that good player does just the minimum to get by. That great player pushes his body past the limit. He leaves every single drop of blood on the field and whatever he does in life he wants to be remembered as the greatest he does that extra 10 when a coach only asks for 20 he runs that 
extra mile when a coach only asks for five. You see, they won't understand this dream. They won't understand this grind, this blood, sweat, and tears of waking up every day, doing something over and over again, knowing that you may not even get paid for it. Knowing that you don't even have a meal to eat at night. You see, that is the true sign of a champion. Mistakes happen. Trials and tribulations happen. Deaths happen, but you gotta keep going. You gotta keep believing. I'm reminding you of how great you are. Many individuals on this earth have slipped into a coma and they began to sleepwalk through life. They began to do the bare minimum. They begin their deaths. See, this type of greatness I'm talking about, I'm talking about when I die. They can't even fit another body in the church. Because what I gave the world. You see, you see all these men standing on top of the world, you think they're special, you think they're everything, but you don't know what they did to get there. It's one of my favorite sayings. You must learn how to live full so you can die in it. This is a saying by Les Brown, listen to me. You must be willing to live full. What we hold back for. But I want to tell you this, that you are phenomenal. You are a king. You come from royal blood. You stand on the tip top of the pyramids. You are royalty, king. You are light. You are star. The question is, do you believe? You are.